Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to a brand new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today, we're going to be going over three tools that I feel like everybody should use in Capture One. And I'll also tell you why I love Capture One and why I feel like every photographer should actually try out Capture One. Even if it's once and you probably might come over to Capture One. Now, with that being said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Also hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can receive notifications every time I put up a new video. And yeah, let's get straight into today's video. Now, Capture One is my favorite raw processing software and the reason is I fell in love the first day I actually imported a picture into Capture One. The colors were great. They looked exactly the way I wanted them to look. The skin tones were great and I believe that Capture One processes raw files better than any other raw processing software out there that's just why i think and you should try it out if it works out for you then great if it doesn't then it's fine you know different strokes for different folks right but i really love capture one and i can tell you that capture one is my bread and butter when it comes to processing raw files now there are three tools in capture one that i use a lot and i think you should use it the first one is balancing skin tones in capture one now i always had a huge issue when it um, came to balancing skin tones in um, in Photoshop, and it was it was a huge problem for me because there were so many techniques and so many types or tricks to use to do that, and it just never worked perfectly. But in Capture One, all you have to do is go to the color editor, go to skin tones, pick um, the color picker tool, pick a skin tone that you want every other place to look like, and just pull a few sliders, and that's just it. That's it, it's just fantastic how it works. And that's a tool that I feel like everybody should use. The second one is the levels tool. Levels in Capture One is insane. It's beautiful, it works perfectly. Um, it just puts the right amount of contrast into an image. So even when you have it, an image that is hazy, all you have to do is drag in or pull in your blacks and pull in your whites and, and that's just it. it. It's perfect. Levels is wonderful. Now, the third tool that I feel like everybody using Capture One should use is the layers panel. It's just a game changer for me. The fact that I can actually build up layers in Capture One to edit and in Capture One 11, you can reduce your opacity, increase your opacity of the layers. You can mask your layers. You can do like almost anything with your layers, literally, except blend modes for now. But hopefully that will come in the future. So Capture One makes things easy for me. Like I said, first one is the color editor and how you can work on skin tones. The second one, level slider. It is just my bread and butter when it comes to Capture One. I love it. I use levels for almost all my images in Capture One. And the third one, layers. The fact that you can stack up layers in Capture One and in Capture One 11, you can reduce, um, sorry, in Capture One 11, you can reduce and increase the opacity. It just makes it great. Now, Capture One is my best raw processing software. And I feel like you should take a good look at it too. If you're watching this video, try it out and see what, you know, Capture One can do for you. It might change you know how you edit it might bring you over to capture one basically um now it doesn't matter what raw processing software you use if, if it's lightroom if it's camera raw it really doesn't matter whichever one you use as long as it can get the job done for you it's good but personally i prefer capture one and i'll definitely be making a lot of videos about capture one in the nearest future but this was just a quick video to tell you guys three tools that i feel like everybody should be using in capture one now if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. The goal is to get to 50,000 subscribers this year. It's crazy. It seems impossible to me, but I just want to try. Put out videos as much as I can. Also, comment below. Let me know what raw processing software you're using. Let me know if you love it and let me know if you're going to try our Capture One. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Like I said, it's just a quick video and I'll definitely be doing tutorials about Capture One and how to work with Capture One in the nearest future. So thank you so much for watching my video. I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.